administration. Senator Jim DeVent, you know, is not happy with TARP, something else the government's involved in. The South Carolina Republican telling me earlier about his plan to change that bailout program. Neil, you know last week about a million Americans took to the streets to complain about the spending, the bailouts. And as we look at what's happening with these bank bailouts, the special inspector this week said it was ripe for fraud and waste and corruption. And it's not working. 16 of the 19 banks that took the most TARP money are, le are lending less than they did last October. So we want to help a lot of these banks, particularly community banks, who were forced to take this TARP money, who now want to get out of it. And so one of the amendments we're offering to a bill that's going through this week, will be offered by David Vitter, will just be to allow banks, if they are properly capitalized, to give this TARP money back and get the feds out of their, their banks and let them run their own business. I'm also, also offering an amendment that would forbid uh, the government from translating or, or, or turning this, the loans into common stock, which would make the government an owner in all of these banks. So th the government is, has not done what it said it would do, Neil, but it keeps taking more and more steps to get more control and ownership. And we're just trying to say, hey, enough's enough. Uh, let's get out of this. It's yeah, but not what, what if, Senator, the, the, the companies, these banks might be hoodwinking you, right? They might be using the excuse, oh, we'd love to give the money back. We just can't. And I've talked to a number of mid-sized uh, banks who've been on with me at Fox Business Network. By the way, Senator, if you don't get FPN, you really should demand it. But yeah. what they pointed out to me was, look, we found a way to give it back. Now, to be fair, a lot of them didn't owe the, the 20, 30 billion gargantuan sums of a city group or what have you. But, you know, a couple of them did owe, owe a couple of billion, and they gave it back. Now, uh, so do you think they're using this as an excuse sum? No, I mean, some can get waivers, but it's, it's done on a, just a, a, an exception basis now, and it's drawn out. There are a lot of banks who tell me they were essentially coerced or forced into taking this. And now they see the implications of the government being more involved in their business, and it's actually hurting their ability to, to make loans. But, you know, and that's they, another point, and I, I keep jumping on you, my friend. But, you know, sure. um, they say coerced. I mean, no, no one is forcing that Napoleon or cannoli down my throat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I do it. So they had a choice in the very beginning. Do we take this money or not? Well, there might have been subtle pressure. Well, well your competitors are, so you're going to be at a disadvantage if you don't. But do you really think that the government came to them, whether under a Republican president or a Democratic one, and said, you either take this or you're dead? Well, they didn't say it that way, but the, the Treasury and the Federal Reserve have a lot of control o over banks. And when your regulator comes in and tells you you need to do something and you don't do it, the banks wonder what's going to happen after that. So uh, they, they were pressured, let's just put it that way, in, into taking this money. And you're so trying to release that grip, trying to give, make it easier so they can give it back. Be a pickle if they don't, right? Then after all this, you, did, you worked on their behalf to, and the taxpayers' behalf, and then it turns out, well, you know, we might hang on to this a while. Well, they have to be well capitalized. They have to be in a good right. position. But what we need to start devolving our way out of this instead of what the administration is doing is taking us deeper and deeper. They're getting ready to ask for more TARP money or trying to convert it to common stock. This has just gone past the line of what the government should do. And we want to try to restore some free market principles here and get the economy going again.